Wisconsin SaltWise is working with winter maintenance professionals across Wisconsin to reduce salt use while providing a high level of service and lessening our impact on the environment. One of the first steps on the path to reducing salt use is to properly calibrate your equipment. It's important to determine how much salt or de-icer each piece of equipment is actually applying. All equipment should be calibrated at the beginning of the season for each setting. The grain size of different de-icers can vary quite a bit from one product to the next, so you'll need to calibrate your equipment for each product you plan to use. If you receive bulk deliveries of de-icer, it's possible the grain size may fluctuate throughout the season. If you notice a significant change in grain size, you may want to recalibrate during the season to ensure you are applying the right amount of de-icer for conditions. For this demonstration, we'll be calibrating a walk-behind drop spreader. A drop spreader drops de-icer straight down onto the pavement, reducing the amount that will bounce off into the grass where it doesn't do any good. It's a useful tool for controlling salt application, but like all equipment, it needs to be calibrated to ensure you are using the right amount of de-icer to get the job done without overusing your product. In order to calibrate, you will need the product or products you are spreading, your equipment, a large tarp or taped off area of smooth pavement. Make sure that this location is out of the wind. A bucket or container, a scale, and a broom and dustpan. First measure out an area where you will be applying the de-icer for the test. Suggested application rates for small equipment are normally given in pounds per thousand square feet. If you don't have access to a thousand square foot area, you can use something smaller, 500 or 250 square feet, and multiply. In this example, we measured and taped off a 25 foot long by 10 foot wide or 250 square foot area and multiplied our result by four. Next, weigh your collection bucket when it is empty. You will subtract this number after you weigh the product. In our example, the empty bucket weighed about 1.3 pounds. Then fill the drop spreader with the product you are applying. Make sure that the lever is in the closed position before you fill the spreader, otherwise the product will fall out as you're filling it. Next, adjust the setting. The spreader should have a knob or lever that allows you to adjust the size of the opening that the salt is released through. Begin on a low setting and record the number on a sheet of paper. If there is no number for the positions, make permanent marks on your equipment to identify the settings. Now you are ready to apply the product. Open the lever of the drop spreader before entering your test area. Begin your test by walking up and down the test area, making sure there is consistent coverage as you would in a parking lot or sidewalk. During this step, try to walk at the same speed you would if you were actually out applying product for a customer. It may help to have a partner time you to see if you are walking at a consistent speed for each round of the calibration. Finish the test by pushing the spreader from the test area and closing the chute. Sweep up all of the salt applied in your test area. Add it to your empty collection bucket and weigh. In our example, the total weight of the bucket and de-icer was 1.5 pounds. We need to subtract the weight of the bucket and then multiply that number by four so we know the amount applied per thousand square feet. In this example, we applied about 0.75 pounds per thousand square feet. Now repeat this test at multiple settings. Remember to try and walk the same speed when testing each setting. Compare the application rates at different settings with the Dane County application rate guidelines. Identify which setting would be most appropriate for different conditions. In our example, setting 7 would get us close to the rate needed for a pavement temperature of about 28 to 32 degrees. The pavement temperature and product you are using will determine what rate you should use. Create a chart that you can laminate and attach to the spreader so that others know what setting to use for various conditions. For more information on actions you can take to reduce your salt use, visit wisconsinsaltwise.com.